Hey everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. Today we have a fantastic tutorial lined up uh, for you. We will be diving into the world of VBA and creating something truly captivating. A live analog digital clock in Excel. Okay. So now you might be wondering why uh, we need to create a clock in Excel. So well, think about it. Excel is not just a spreadsheet tool, it's a powerful platform that allows you to unleash your creativity and expand its functionality. So let's uh, take Excel to the next level and bring a touch of elegance with our very own analog clock that you can see over here. So as you can see that uh, this digital clock or you can say analog clock is uh, you know, developed in uh, Visual Basic application code. So no, nothing has been designed it manually. Whatever I did, I have written the entire code and on a single code, it has generated the clock and it's running. So you can match the time here, 11, uh, 11 o'clock and 12 minutes basically. So you can see that 11 o'clock and 12 minutes. So this is a very, very you know interesting, uh, uh, you can say it's a very fun to learn this. So let's, so let's start creating this uh, analog clock from scratch. So uh, first of all, what we'll do, we will close this window, uh, this uh, this uh, this application basically, the application which we have already worked on that, and click on save. Now we need to create a new workbook. So press Control N to create a new workbook, and then save this file. So you can save this file. Click on More option, and then Browse, and you can give it at any so like any location. So give the name as analog clock in excel okay and the save as type must be this macro enabled because we are going to write macro code if you will not select this macro enabled it will not retain the code once you close the file okay so this is the important uh, step just click on save now we are done with uh, you know saving this file with macro enabled file so what we need to do we need to create a uh, one worksheet and that is already available by default so just rename this and give this a name as a analog okay now uh, go to the view tab and untick this grid line basically so it will give the smoother look basically yeah press ctrl s to save whatever the changes we have made so far now we need to jump to this uh, visual basic application window so just click on developer tab here and then under code group just click on visual basic so once you click on visual basic if you look at this uh, this uh, all these code are blank now we need to write uh, some of the procedures so that we can create uh, analog clock with all the interface uh, you know, hands and everything so uh, to do that first of all we need to insert a blank module so just click on insert and then module once you uh, click on insert module then it will insert a blank module and if you look at this nothing is there it means we can write the entire code here okay so now uh, let's move to the code. I have already written this code and you, I have already provided the link link in the description box so that you can go and download this analog clock. Okay. So let's, uh, it has a three, four different parts basically. First of all, we will copy this, the code first one and that is the option explicit and global. So we are declaring a global variable here for shape. So we will be utilizing this, this glass shape uh, in multiple, you know, procedures. That's why we are declaring it the global. Now the sec the first procedure that is for create analog clock. So let's copy the create analog clock. You can copy it from my website and just coming uh, down. Okay. And so, so you just need to copy this, the first procedure and paste over here. So what it will do, it will create a clock, analog clock using with this, uh, using the help of all these codes. And in this code, we are calling some uh, several procedure basically that will write again. So we've just come to this here and you need to copy the second procedure that is draw clock hand. So what it this procedure will create a clock clock hand like seconds, minutes and hour. So let's copy this, go to this visual basic application window in module and below this first visual basic procedure, paste it here. Now move to this notepad and we need to copy the third procedure that is this one yeah so it will provide the glass uh, glass effect on analog clock so let's 
paste it now we are done with all the required codes which are basically required to create the analog clock and to run the analog clock okay so all the codes are done just go to this debug and compile vb project so if there would be any you know any error it will highlight so you can see that uh, we in this code there is no error it's completely error free now we run this code so that it we can see uh, you know the analog clock right within the excel worksheet that is this one this is the active worksheet basically and we have only works one worksheet so it will create in this this one so let's move to this here and click put your cursor in between this sub create and lock and end sub anywhere and just click on this run so as soon as you will click on run you can see that one beautiful analog clock has been created by visual basic itself and it's running so you can match the time 1117 and showing 1117 so this is how you can design a or create an analog clock within few seconds with the help of visual basic application code okay and this code is entirely uh, freely available basically on our website just check the description box and download it hope you uh, like this tutorial thanks for watching please like share comment and subscribe have a great day bye bye